but has much less faith in the president's war plans. We will degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL. If the goal is to destroy ISIS, as it says it is, uh, I don't believe the strategy that he outlined uh, will accomplish that. Why not? At the end of the day, uh, I think it's going to take more than airstrikes uh, to drive them out of there. At some point, somebody's boots have to be on the ground. That's Americans? the whole point. Listen, the president doesn't want to do that. If I were the president, I probably wouldn't have talked about what I wouldn't do. Uh, and maybe, maybe we can get enough of these forces trained and get them on the battlefield. Uh, but somebody's boots have to be there. And if no one else will step up, you would recommend putting American boots on the ground? We have no choice. These are barbarians. They intend to kill us. And if we don't destroy them first, we're going to pay the price. I know you've said that, uh, assuming you're speaker next year, you'd want to have a vote on, on a resolution. Why not now? I'd be happy to. Last night on my orders, the president, typically in a situation like this, would call for an authorization vote and uh, go sell that to the American people and send a resolution to the Hill. The president hasn't done that. He believes he has the authority uh, under existing uh, uh, resolutions to do what he's you don't doing. Agree? Uh, I think he does have the authority to do it. But the point I've been making is that this is a, uh, a proposal that the Congress ought to consider. Our reporter Jeff Delaney has talked to a couple sources up on Capitol Hill who said you and other leaders actually warned that if it came up now, it would splinter both parties and might not pass. I did not suggest that to anybody in my caucus or to the president for that matter. So to be clear, if the president put a resolution forward now, you'd call the Congress back? I'd bring the Congress back.